Okay guys, just another quick update on my first uh, rolling of the Duratex on most official rolling uh, one coat on these braces just to see how it would come out with one coat. I'm getting a lot more practice with this and it's actually coming on pretty good. The most value I can give somebody in terms of tips if you're using Duratex and using this type of roller, use very little pressure, load up the brush. Um, if you press down and roll too hard, paint goes flying and you could just take the paint away just because this is so porous. You would, it's not like a typical roller where you can milk a little bit more out of the uh, brush as it gets unloaded. Uh, you can actually create um, problematic areas by pushing down. Just roll it lightly, load up a section of paint because when you don't have a flat surface like this, it's very hard to do your W's and when you have this textured finish, it's very hard to get it. Um, so. It's just well, not hard, but I mean, it's just not conducive to this type of painting. And so I'm actually glad that I decided to do it separately or else it would have been very difficult once this is in a cabinet to get up to these corners and get the texture all the way. Just the way this is, you have to literally roll all the way over your blue taped areas to get the texture all the way through so that's one negative of doing this the positive of using this textured finish is that any flaws uh, or any lack of skill painting wise like me you can't really see it it really and i think it's cool i mean i like it white i don't really like the black duratex it looks a little too like professional speakers at a concert but this white i think seems to come out good for my taste and should counteract the black um, of the drivers when it's in the baffle. So, oh, one thing. I did succeed in getting, well, the glue here is not a great job. It's just, just so, this one is not pretty. But it looks like the glue held uh, on this piece. It feels pretty firm. Um, and finally, after three gluing attempts, it looks like this one's going to hold. I've got some filler and uh, some stuff. I'm gonna try to pretty this up and sand off the excess glue. Uh, but I think it's a little bit warped anyway through the whole thing and that's why it took so many applications of glue to get that fixed. And again, like I said, Jay sent me a replacement panel so I'm just showing this for potential uh, purposes if you ever have to repair MDF uh, and I just wanted to practice myself um, in case I have to do it. The coat itself came out good with just one coat once I got the hang of it, loading up the surface. And actually this box having a divot in the middle worked good because I was able to get the roller down here and do a coat on this interior ring. And then I was able to push this out and get the edges here. So I think what I'm also going to do is run a chain through these, hang them, and then I can... Uh, roll them and get some of the last spots on either side without having to wait for it to dry on both one side versus the other There's a few spots. I want to touch up. So I think I'll be able to hang it. Thanks to these holes We'll see how that works out um, Make sure if you do do blue tape because you have to roll over this totally to get the finish up to the corners You want to have some part of the blue tape that you can pull off um, later or else it's going to just be buried under paint so uh, that's one thing i learned and really that's about it i think i've got enough gap so that the glue and the grooves for the baffles should not be interfering with the duratex finish and again this is on the back of the speaker so it really doesn't need to be perfect um, at all but i'm trying to practice on these pieces in case i screw something up Again, it's on the back. Now, one thing I will say is that because some of these are gonna be lined with no res, then I'm probably just gonna do a flat white finish on certain panels that will have the no res because probably the textured finish would not be as good for adhering the uh, no res. Um, so uh, that's one caveat I might have to change, not painting these with the Duratex. So that's just a quick update. I'll be back with more.